What's up guys? We've got some huge news coming out of the test server today. Daybreak has inadvertently leaked uh, both of the new TLP servers that are going to be releasing in May. We've got one called Tormax and one called Teak. Now the interesting thing here is that both of these servers are launching, it appears, in Kunark, which is huge news. I think most people in the community are ready for something that's not a classic release, so this is awesome. Second piece here is that Velius actually isn't going to release until August. So that means we're looking at three months of Classic Plus Kunark. Maybe a bit long, but there is going to be a fair bit of content for players to complete with uh, epics and level 60 available right out of the gate. Now, my second thing here is the names of these servers. I'm gonna focus in on Mr. Teak here. If you're familiar with some modern EverQuest things, you'll know that Franklin Teak sits outside of the guild lobby. And Mr. Teak provides daily hot zone quests. Now, this is a bit of a conspiracy theory, but about a month or so ago, I actually posted on the forums about an idea of having basically basically glorified hot zones. Um, I called them terror zones because I wanted them to be more akin to the Diablo 2 implementation of uh, kind of hot zones. But my theory here is that one of these servers is going to have some sort of hot zone or terror zone system to incentivize you to go to new zones that you might not normally go to. I think this is awesome. I think this is a great addition to EQ. I want to be pushed outside of the normal box that we play in. Super excited for the possibility of this. Other than that, there's not any real hint to the rule set of these servers. The timeline starting from Belius and moving forward is all standard fare for uh, modern TLPs. There's no hint as to whether or not these might be mischief servers or not, other than what Jay Chan has already said. I still think both of these servers, whether there's some sort of hot zone implementation or not, will both be mischief servers. And in fact, I think they both might need overflow servers. One piece of feedback I do have, you can actually go into the calendar and go look all the way out until March of next year. They did not make any changes to the pop LDON cadence. I really wish they would reconsider that and launch LDON sooner in POP, maybe even just at the beginning of POP, and shorten that time span between like POP, LDON, and GOD. But other than that, I'm super excited about this news. I am hopeful that the Teak server has a, a nice interesting twist with hot zones. Uh, let me know what you guys think, what are your theories, and uh, hope to see you on the new servers.